this question comes up a lot with new sellers that I am working with to grow their shops. They will say, Brittany, please tell me what items sell the best print on demand. And I understand where they're coming from when they ask this question. They want to take the path of least resistance. They want to offer the products that are selling very well, but it is kind of like asking what products sell the best on Etsy. You know, it really depends. There is such a wide variety of things that go into what is selling and why. It's trend, it's holiday, it's demand on that specific item or the way that that shop has branded themselves. So it's really not as simple as saying, what sells the best print on demand? Really, you can make anything sell very well that's a print on demand product if you have the right strategy if you do your research, if you've got everything in alignment as it should be, and you put the time investment into learning how to best develop your shop, develop your branding, finding the right photos that are well merchandised, dynamic, and help grab the attention of your buyer, that stuff is what creates purchases. It's not necessarily a particular item within the print on demand catalog that's going to sell better than anything else. It's your effort, it's your brand, and it is your research that is what creates the results. However, that being said, there are particular items that may help you rise to the top faster with print on demand, the things that are easier to sell than others. That's what we're gonna go over in this video, so please stay tuned. I'm gonna go really in depth and talk about the particular things that I see within print on demand catalogs that I feel like have the most easy potential, the fastest potential to make work in your own Etsy shops. Okay, so I'm going to be using Printify to show you guys the best sellers for this specific print-on-demand provider. But keep in mind this sort of thing, the process of finding the best sellers for that particular provider, whichever it is that you're using, whether it's Printful or Printify or Printora, whatever, they won't all have the best seller category, but Printify does, and it's very, very helpful. There's other white ways of finding what sells the best print on demand that I'm going to talk about as well. But Printify is what I use, and they have a really cool category. They label it best sellers. It's literally all of the best sellers that they are offering for sellers to have in their shops. So cotton t-shirts, racerback tanks, mugs, all of these things are what sellers are using the most of. So when you wonder like what print on demand stuff is, you know, selling very well right now, what can I make a good profit off of? We're seeing here a lot of sellers are using these specific products to accomplish that. Now, of course, your design, your target market, your product research, your branding, all of those things will play into how well you do selling this particular item. But, you know, you, gotta, you have to start somewhere. So choosing your product first, starting at this best seller, seller category is not a bad idea because it's going to give you the best idea of what other people are doing within this space that may have more experience than you. And you can tell these products then will probably most likely be of okay quality because so many people are using them that they're best sellers, so they can't be that bad, right? You can also order samples yourself if you're a little nervous, if you'd like to see how it feels and looks before you start sending it out to customers, send yourself one. But this is the best starting point to discover all of the products within their category that are doing the best with other sellers. Now, of course, there's tons of other things that they offer, so it doesn't mean that these things are bad or that they don't sell well. Like I said, there's there's so many different elements that go into creating a best-selling product that has nothing to do really with the item itself. Uh, so as we're looking through kid stuff, there's tons of different options. So you can really customize your shop to be whatever you want to be. So what I usually tell my clients is just to focus mostly on your strategy, on your designs, on what you want your shop to be like and who your target market is, most importantly. Because your shop isn't about you, truly. It's about the people that you're selling to. It's about your core group of customers and the things that they want and love and are trending right now within that space. So when you're choosing print-on-demand items, the best seller category is a good place to start, but just know mostly all of the products within their catalogs 
can sell very well. It's just up to you. So it's not necessarily what sells best print on demand because you can make anything sell best print on demand. It's up to you to create a best selling item from the products that they provide you with. And that is all on what we just talked about in terms of your designs, in terms of your branding and your shop as a whole. So you can start anywhere. If you would say, okay, I'm most interested in phone cases. Then you want to start doing your research on the first phone case you see that comes up as a bestseller. All of your trend research will come after that then. How do I create these phone cases that I'm going to source through print on demand in a way that you know people are going to love and that tons of people are going to want? And that research is a completely separate thing from choosing your print on demand product. But like I said, it's not about the things that are flying off the shelves for the print on demand companies. It's about the things that are flying off the shelf for Etsy sellers. I hope that that makes sense because for me, it's like, you know, if you have this plain phone case, somebody on Etsy could put a design on it and it could be selling like crazy because they did their research because they know their target market. And then you try to sell this same phone case. You put a different design on it and you see zero movement whatsoever. And you're like, what the heck? Theirs is doing so well, I have the same phone case. Why isn't it selling as well? And it's because it's not about the item. It's about the design. It's about everything else. Of course you want a high quality product. So just refining that question a little bit to be less about what sells best print on demand through print on demand to be what sells best on Etsy. What's trending right now? And how can I then create products around that, create designs around that, that I can fit onto these products that are provided by by print on demand companies and then sell the crap out of them. So this is your starting point. This is where you want to begin when we're talking about the best sellers for uh, this specific print on demand company. I don't know that Printful has a best seller category like I talked about, but I think they actually mark every individual listing like as you're going through the catalog with a best seller badge, which I believe, yes, Printify does that too, just to make it easier for you to make a selection because there's a lot of different options that you have. So that's my take on what sells best print on demand. I think it's really more about your own research, more about your target market, more about your branding and your design than it is about anything else. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe. You can also join the Be A Wolf Biz Facebook group. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Please comment on this video as well if there's anything specifically that you're wondering about or that you would like to see me put a video out on. I would love to give you guys as much value as possible and help you along in your Etsy journeys. So let me know what you wanna hear and we'll see you next time. We'll see you later.